Do you know lasering the wrong type of a tattoo could ruin the rest of your life? Not every tattoo is appropriate for laser tattoo removal. And today we're going to look at five cases of tattoos that are really not appropriate for laser tattoo removal. And if you did start to laser them off, I could assure you that you are going to be very, very unhappy with the day that you ever walked into that laser establishment. First, let's discuss some of the basis of laser tattoo removal. I already know the basis of laser tattoo removal, thank you. If you already know the basis of laser tattoo removal, this is a chaptered video, so you could just skip ahead. The basics of laser tattoo removal is simply pairing off the wavelength of light that's absorbed by the colored ink to the wavelength of light that's being emitted from the laser system. I didn't know that. Black absorbs every wavelength of light and reflects nothing, so we see a big black hole. That makes black one of the easier inks to remove. Black is the easiest? I can't believe it. Hey, Lorenzo, could you believe it? He can't believe it either. Because it absorbs all the wavelengths, that means every laser appropriate for tattoo removal should have some effect on black ink. Some better, some worse, but it will have an effect. Now, red ink absorbs the KTP 532 laser. That's the only wavelength absorbed by red ink. So if you want to get red ink off, you better have a KTP laser. White ink, on the other hand, absorbs nothing. It reflects everything, which means it reflects all the lasers. That means white ink is difficult to come out. Now here's a chart on different colors and what wavelength of light they absorb. So let's get into our five scenarios. Case one, too much white ink. The problem with this is this tattoo as nice as it is, has a preponderance of white ink. White ink does one of three things. It either sits there or it oxidizes into this blackish gray color that becomes very difficult to laser out. Or it disappears, and if it disappears, it's pure luck. So a tattoo like this with a lot of white would be a very, very bad idea to start lasering it because I could guarantee, more likely than not, you're going to have the oxidation and this disgusting looking blackish gray color that simply won't come out. Let's look at this next tattoo. Too much yellow. The problem with yellow is it absorbs a wavelength about 430 nanometers and we have zero lasers that are 430 nanometers. The closest we have is that 532 that I told you about for red ink. Sometimes it's close enough if you have a weak ink, a bad yellow ink, it might disappear using the 532, but you can't count on that. Most of the time what happens is the yellow might fade a little bit and those yellow oranges, they will stay. Now here's the problem. If you take the rest of the tattoo off, those yellow oranges, they won't look like pretty flowers anymore. They're going to look like a yellowish blob, kind of like a bruise in the yellow phase. <laughs> I know bruises. Yeah, but unfortunately, this yellow bruising is going to stay forever. So if you have a lot of yellow, like in this tattoo, not a good idea to start lasering it. Scenario number three. Too much red. What? Two minutes ago, you said that the red is the second easiest to come off. Now, all of a sudden, it's no good anymore. What, are you getting stunned? No, I'm not going bots. I'm not talking about being able to remove the red ink. I'm talking about another problem. Allergies. You could be allergic to your ink. And if you are allergic to the ink, it's usually a red ink. There's a substance in the red that makes it highly antigenic and you can get allergic reactions to red ink very easily. Some patients know it already. They take a shower and the tattoo swells or itches like crazy. Sometimes it's red all around the tattoo. That's an allergy. 
and it's contained, when we laser it and we start shattering that red ink and exposing your immune system to that red ink, you're giving it a tremendous antigen load. And there's a risk of having an allergic reaction right there. And that allergic reaction could be mild like hives, or it could be a life-threatening anaphylactic reaction. And it doesn't have to be right in the room with me. It could be an hour or two later when you're driving home. So removing a preponderance of red ink is not a good idea either. Now, say you wanted me to remove a credit card size or an index card size each time. We could do that. But if there's any hint of an allergy, we either have to stop or I'll have to put you on antihistamines and sometimes steroids. Steroids are not your friend. They might make you feel like Superman, but they weaken your bones, they shut down your adrenals, they harm your immune system, and forget about your glucose metabolism. So if you have a lot of red ink and an allergy, not a good idea to laser that. Scenario number four, a lot of custom colors. Look at this tattoo. The red face is not really red. It's kind of bronze. Even the greens aren't really green. They're kind of yellowish. Some things are brown. Lasers, when removing tattoos, prefer straight basic colors. Red, black, blue, green. When you start making blends by taking green and adding yellow, by taking blue and adding red, things like that, it becomes very difficult to remove those tattoos. You start taking layers of ink off and finding the tattoo changes color midway through, requiring a shift in laser therapy. It becomes very difficult. And a tattoo like this, with a lot of custom colors, would be very difficult to remove using lasers. And finally, scenario number five. Now there's nothing particularly wrong with this tattoo. Yeah, he's got some white in there, but he has red, green, blue, black, yellow, white, multiple colors, and a tremendous ink load. What's gonna happen is you're gonna really work your immune system to try to clear a tattoo with this much ink that's this large, that's gonna require a minimum of three different lasers. So, if you have a tattoo like this, even though it's got colors that we could probably get out, the odds of you removing it completely are pretty poor. Would I ever want to laser one of these tattoos? Yes, under specific circumstances. If the patient came in and said, Doc, I just want a section of it lightened up so I could have my artist cover it up and put a different tattoo on and change it a little bit. That's a different story than trying to take off a complete tattoo from shoulder to buttocks because that's a lot of work, a lot of ink, a lot of work on the immune system and it's probably not going to go well. So under that circumstances, lasering pieces off, yes, I would do that. Maybe not to the white one because white is definitely not your friend when it comes to laser tattoo removal. If you like these type videos, I have more coming up at the end discussing laser tattoo removal scenarios and problems associated with laser tattoo, even how to make your tattoo removal a better experience. Take care, have a good day.